Hey second grade art friends, it's Mrs. Herbe. I just wanted to make a quick little video to talk to you guys about some strategies on how to draw a fish. Um, in order to make our fish print, we'll be um, creating a drawing of a fish on this smaller size paper that I gave you. But before we do that, what I thought I would do is I would show you a couple strategies on how to draw fish. Um, and so if you want to grab your sketchbook or just a blank piece of paper, that would be great and grab a pencil. And then I um, attach to your lesson in Canvas um, a file that has a lot of different pictures of fish. And you don't have to print it out necessarily. You could just pull it up on your, um, on your, on your screen and look at them. Um, or you can also um, print them out if that's a possibility as well, okay? So I've printed out page one of that file and I have it here. So if you wanna go ahead and grab your stuff, we'll get started. All right, so here we go. The first thing I want us to talk about is the fish's body shape, okay? And typically, fish's body shapes um, it's sort of like making an eye or a football shape and depending for example on this fish's body the curve the top curve kind of goes up and then it comes down so it goes up fairly fairly far and then comes down fairly far and then underneath sort of the same idea okay so you can kind of practice making this kind of a shape now in this case, the fish's um, body is a lot thinner. So what you can do is instead of going up, we're gonna sort of maybe swipe more across like this. And then I'm going to kind of swipe like that. So that's how you kind of can get a thinner type body. And on this fish down here, it's a little bit flatter on the top and then it kind of curves down and around like that, okay? So those are several different body sizes of, or body shapes of different fish. So if you wanna just go ahead and practice those shapes, um, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys, so the next thing we wanna think about is adding um, the tail. And on some fish, the cool thing is is that the tail kind of extends out like this. And then I sometimes like to think of making the, the greater than or the less than sign. And in this case, this is the, um, the, um, this is the greater than sign. And so it's sort of like, or it's like the letter V on its side, okay? And then after you make that, what you can do is you can kind of bubble around it a little bit like this depending on the shape of the fish's tail and then the cool thing is then you can take your eraser and you can erase this inner part here and now i have the fish's tail okay and we can kind of you can kind of see there's a little bit of a line right there. And then on this fish, it kind of extends a little bit kind of out like that. And then same thing. There's this like here. And it kind of goes up. But this one is a little more. This one is a little fuller, sort of like that. Okay. And then this fish, similarly, it kind of, kind of curves around, kind of like that. And then there's a, sort of just a tail that's more shaped like that. Okay. So after you get the tail drawn, then we're going to think about the eyes. So go ahead, play around with the tails for a minute, and then we will um, talk about some of the other body parts of the fish. 
All right, so the next thing we want to think about is the fish's eye. And the eye is always usually a circle within a circle. And in this case, this fish's eye is bigger. This fish has a fairly big eye too. Okay. And then after we draw the eye, we're gonna think about the gills. And the gills are how the fish breathes. And it's usually, they kind of come like this. And sometimes there's either one or two lines. And on this fish, it kind of comes like that. Okay. Then um, we want to think about um, the fins and fish depending on the fish they have different shaped fins so on this particular fish the fin kind of starts a little bit further back here and it kind of comes up and then it works its way down to like there like that and then there's a tip there's a fin kind of back here that kind of comes down like this and then goes back up like that and then there's another one it's kind of like there there's another one behind it and then there's another one that's right here kind of shaped like that okay and on this particular fish, the top is a little bit fancier, like that. And then there's a fin back here that kind of comes around like that. And then there's one kind of that kind of comes down and around like that. Okay, and this guy down here's got more of like a, kind of goes like that, and like that, and then it kind of comes like that, and then there's another one kind of like that. Okay. Um, and then last but not least, we have the fish's mouth. And so on this fish, it kind of comes like that. And then on this fish, it kind of comes down and then kind of goes back up like that. And then this fish, it kind of comes like that. And then it kind of comes around like that. All right. And then the last thing we want to think about are the scales. So go ahead if you needed to finish up drawing any of the, um, the fins or the, the mouths or the gills, go ahead and do that. And then the last thing we'll talk about is the scales. All right, guys, so scales. So there's a couple ways that you can draw scales. And the first one that I like to do is kind of making this backwards. Um, it either f the, the letter C, if it's going this way. So for example, on this fish, I'm drawing the letter C. And I'm just kind of making a row. And then I'm going to then kind of stagger So I'm just making this letter C. And then I'm just gonna keep going. I'm 
until I make it all the way down here to the tail. Okay. Um, another thing that you can do is um, it's very similar to this, but you guys are familiar with this type of line where we just make sort of sort of a wavy line put on its side. And so if you feel more comfortable with doing that, that's another way you can do it. Um, and the last way that you can do it is, um, and this is probably the easiest and maybe not the most effective, but it also works where if you draw diagonal lines across the body of the fish like this, and then you draw diagonal lines that go the other way, like that, okay? So those are three scale strategies that you can kind of play around with. And depending on if you make the lines really small, like this, you have small scales. And you can also, if you make the lines wider, you can have bigger scales like that. And the same here, you can make little scales. Or you can make bigger, bigger scales. And the same can hold true here. If you keep the lines closer together, you get a lot smaller scales if you draw more lines closer together. Okay. Now, after we do the scales, then we're going to talk about the final details with the fins. All right. So the last thing we want to talk about is the fins. And if you notice from these pictures of fish, the fins have lines and we want to pay particular attention to the direction that the lines are going. So in this case, the top fins lines are kind of going diagonally down the edge of the fin like that. And then if I look at these ones, they're kind of starting up here at the top and radiating out and the same is true for the ones that are down here like this and kind of going like that and then the same this one they're kind of going like that and then the back ones are going like that okay now on this fish the main one is kind of fairly prominent where this point is and then the rest of them kind of go like this and this kind of goes like that This one kind of going a little like that. Okay. Now you can go ahead and practice some of these strategies, and you may say, Well, why are we? really focusing on all these details. And really the reason is, is that when we go to draw our fish onto the small paper, we want to include as many details as possible because when we carve this into the styrofoam, 
we want the fish to look as realistic as possible. So we want to include as many details as we can. All right, guys, so we're gonna stop here for today. Um, so what I'd like you to do in preparation for next week is um, you do your practice, look at some different fish pictures, try to, um, if you don't like any of the ones I gave you, you can go hunting for some on the internet, but make sure that the picture um, of the fish includes um, scales and fins and all the details that you need. And then next week, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to draw the fish onto um, the small paper, and then how we're gonna go ahead and then um, put it, carve it into the styrofoam. So I hope you guys have a great week. And also, um, if you haven't sent me back your birds, um, I have my bird right here. Um, you want to go ahead and do that because if you can send me back your birds, then I can fire them. And then once they're fired like this, then I can send them back to you with some glaze um, so that we can get that going as well. So we kind of have two projects going at once right now. Um, but anyways, I'll look forward to talking to you guys on Thursday.